Ram truck under seat storage DIY. I looked at the pricing on some of the units you can buy. There's no way I would spend that kind of money. And they cover up the Ram box. Why do that? <music> Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive FST. And that's right, today I'm going to do a little project, a little Ram truck DIY backseat storage. Now, what I'm talking about, my truck anyway, came naked, just like this. There is no storage back here in my truck. So, I'm going to go ahead and make something to kind of go across here so that I can store or at least retain things like that mess underneath my rear seats. Now, I went to Lowe's, picked up some wood, that's right, some wood. I'll show you all the materials as we go, but the first thing that we have to do is measure the distance from here to here. I'm going to put it inside the edges of these little seat retainer holder things, whatever you want to call this. They're going to go on the inside of these uh, right along here. So I got to make that measurement, then we'll come back on, we'll cut the wood and move on to the next step. Okay, measured the distance between the two edges inside the truck. It's 52 inches. Now, I'm going to put my edges on the inside of the board. So I have to subtract, obviously, the width of the boards on each side. It's 3 quarter inch. By the way, what I bought is 1 by 1 by 8 foot. You can see it. It is right down there. So my sides, which are going to come from what's left over out of this piece, are quarter inch thick. So that's an inch and a half I have to take off of the length, the 52 inches. So I end up needing 50 and a half inches. That's the length I need to cut the board. So we're going to go ahead and do that with a handy dandy jigsaw because I don't have a circular saw. And then we'll move on to the next part. figure out the sides. Okay, I measured the sides. 10 inches is the length that I need and I don't want it to come over the floor mats. I want it to stop just before. So, 10 inches it is. Need to make two more cuts. Here are my sides. Hope I cut them the right length. I could probably do it one more time with what's left. Here's a rough look at what it's going to be when it's done. Well, it's going to be covered with felt and stuff, but it is 52 inches long now. I got that right. A little crooked on my end cuts, but nobody's ever going to see it. So now I'm going to screw the edges together. I'm just using a number eight, one by three quarter inch wood screw. Going to go ahead and put three in on each side. I will dr drill pilot holes uh, and then see if I can't countersink them a little just so that they don't stick out and don't split the wood. So I'm going to do that next. Okay, a little bit of a test fit. There you can see what it's going to look like uh, before it's finished. Obviously, it's not covered yet. I had thought before that I was going to have to angle over this area. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to put it in like this. Everything then will be retained, if you will, right in this area here. So when we put the seats down, show you the clearance under there. It is just barely underneath in the back. And of course, underneath all the way across the front. So we don't have any uh, contact with the seats themselves, which I'm happy about. So I'm going to go on to the next step, and that is covering this thing with felt. That should be interesting. We've got the felt laid out. The 
uh, backseat uh, storage piece, if you will, turned upside down. What I'm going to do, I'm going to use some Gorilla Spray Adhesive um, to kind of bond it to the wood, if you will. Never done this, so I'm not quite sure how to do it or how to get it cut so that it comes out looking halfway decent, so it's going to be an experience. Uh, I think what I might do is go ahead and turn the board over, spray the top and the sides, and then mount the felt over it, and then kind of wrap it, if you will, kind of like a weird shaped Christmas present. I'm not really sure. So let me go ahead and get that going, and we'll come back on. Okay, we've got it done. You're looking at the bottom. Of course, you'll never see that, so that's okay. I think it came out pretty good. I think it looks uh, really good. So next up, we're going to put some Velcro. I just bought some pieces of Velcro and I got it in gray, kind of to match, I don't know, the inside of the truck a little. You'll never see it anyway. Black would have been ideal. But what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to put it all along the edge, the bottom here, if you will, and that is to grab the carpeting in the truck. We're going to use the hook side uh, to grab the carpeting in the truck to kind of stabilize it and keep it sitting in place. So I'm going to put that on next. All right, here's how it came out. That's what it looks like. I think it came out really well. Uh, even the corners, which I had the most trouble with. Uh, let's take a look at the bottom. You guys can see there, that is the Velcro, the hook part of the Velcro that I put on. Again, to kind of grab the carpeting in the truck just to stabilize it a little bit. And of course, it's not perfect, as you can probably tell, but it should look pretty good and work pretty well inside the truck. Well, let's go put it in. Okay, here you go. Here is the finished product. Um, I think it came out really well. It fits in there really good. Moves a little bit, but not too much. I think the Velcro on the back grabbing the carpeting helps a bit. I would definitely recommend doing that. One thing I would change if I did it again, I would make it about a quarter inch shorter. So whatever the dimension was that I gave, I would shave a quarter inch off of that, only because there are little lips here on the inside of this little piece where the seats uh, bolt down, I guess. I would just make sure that uh, it clears the little lips down there. And if you look, you'll know what I'm talking about. But otherwise, it's, uh, it's perfect and it should certainly satisfy what I'm looking for as far as being able to retain things uh, underneath the seat. Again, if you put the seats down, that's the look that you're going to get from outside of the truck. Uh, looks pretty good, I think. I'm pretty happy with it. So, I'm going to go ahead and load it up with some of my stuff and then I'll show you uh, once I'm done. All right, got a few things in here. I need more stuff, apparently. Um, some tie downs, some gloves, screwdriver. Over there we have some jumper cables. That's all I'm really gonna put in here right now, but you can see there is a ton of room down there for other things. Now, one other thing I wanna mention, the reason I chose to do this is because in the RAM, at least in mine, we have RAM boxes, these things in the floors. Uh, I didn't want to cover these up, and a lot of the aftermarket ones I saw came out across the edge of this, and you couldn't open it without actually moving the storage bin itself. I didn't like that. You shouldn't have to do that. I like having these open so I can do whatever I want and uh, have easy access to them. Now, of course, if you're real creative, you could put little slots in there, whatever, you know, to separate things. I just wanted an area to put stuff down below so that it wouldn't roll around and end up somewhere in the front of the truck. Again, let's take a look with the seats down. There's the passenger side behind the driver anyway. Now, let's take a quick look over at the passenger side behind the front passenger. There you go, and again, you can see it clears. There's no issue with uh, running into anything under there, so I think it's pretty cool that when you look at it, blends right in. I doubt that most people would probably even notice that it's inside the truck. Anyway, that is my Ram truck under seat storage DIY. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. Have you done anything like this, or did you fork out the cash for that Mopar solution? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. Rob Motive, all about my 2021 Toyota Tacoma. 
and a Rob Motive JT all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator with a little bit of Wrangler. That's the wife's vehicle thrown in. Check them out, and if you're interested, why not subscribe? Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye. Mm -hmm.